At Namdi Azikiwe Airport in Abuja, a plane takes off and lands at every hour. At the moment, this runway serves both domestic and international flights and is in need of repair. However, a planned upgrade has been met with much resistance. Nigeria's Society of Engineers, which regularly advises government on infrastructure projects, is challenging the closure. They argue it would cause unnecessary hardship to international and local air travelers. What we did was to really try to identify what problems there were. And uh, for us, uh, the problems were more of a project management um, problems, planning and scheduling of work. That's what we saw as uh, the main issue. And uh, from experience with what happens in other countries, we, of course, we are on firm grounds that uh, that work can be done without shutting down the airport. Over 7 million people use Namdi Azikiwe Airport in 2016, making it one of the busiest airports in the country. And in the next 10 years, passenger volumes are expected to double. The government plans to redirect travelers to the nearest airport, 160 kilometers north to the state of Kaduna, which is already raising security concerns. Construction work on Abuja's airport runway is estimated to cost nearly $5 million, a sum many fear may run the risk of being lost to corruption or misappropriated if not monitored closely. We spoke to Nigerians in the capital to hear their position on the matter. The repairs are long due. I think they are long due. I think and what should be done needs to be done. What needs to be done should be done on time. I don't see the need to close the airport totally because if any right-thinking government, what they would have done is to have an alternative right at still the same Nandi Azikiwe airport while they are working on the, the repair works. So I think it's a welcome development. So let's just excite the patient, let this thing be done so that life can be saved. If the government decision is implemented, the airport will close later this month. But the challenge still remains, how to serve a growing city without simultaneously coming to a standstill. Sophia Dango for CGTN, Abuja, Nigeria.